My father was a professional inventor who tried to come up with innovative solutions to people's problems, so it wasn't any kind of a surprise in 1947 when a local pump company uh, came to him and asked him if he could develop a, a camera that would uh, operate in deep water wells. Uh, he was able to ultimately find a, a way of doing that and for the very first time people were able to uh, see what was going on uh, in the deep wells, uh, particularly those that were here in the San Joaquin Valley. Uh, one of the things they saw right away was that there was an enormous amount of suspended solids in the water and that that no doubt was one of the reasons that pump efficiencies uh, went down so quickly when the pumps were running. That ultimately led to the development of the uh, pump protection separator which we still make and ultimately to um, what is today known as the uh, LACO separator. And, and although uh, there's been lots of other patents and many improvements and a lot of innovation since, uh, that really is the core of, of what we have made over the last 40 years. There are two key principles that have always guided the company. We have a very strong commitment to innovation and in continuous improvement. And we've also always had an equally strong commitment to the quality of our product. We don't build just Me Too products. That not only was the foundation, it was the way the company began. I mean, this was a better solution to uh, a problem that had been uh, met with very prosaic uh, products in the past, basically barrier filters. This was a better way of, of, of solving the problem and we've tried to continue to do that with all of the new products that we've introduced over, over time. We were lucky enough that my father lived uh, almost 20 years uh, after the company was started so he was able to carry on the tradition of research and development that he had started and and we were very lucky to have a young man who started as a high school student steve ford who worked with my father who has carried on the research and development program and now is the company's chief technologist so we have really more than 40 years of continuity of the development of hydrocyconic filtration. The LACO separator really works efficiently on any liquid that is like water and consequently uh, uh, when you uh, go to a jet fueling operation pretty much anywhere in the world you'll find a LACO separator as a pre-filter to the jet fuel. If, if you buy Frito-Lay chips you'll find that their cooking oil's life is extended by using uh, a, a LACO separate. Our technology allows for zero liquid loss in the process fluid that the solids are being removed from, and, there are, and that can be done automatically. There's virtually no other equipment that you can say that about, uh, particularly in the manufacturing world, but pretty much in, in all parts of our business as uh, staffs have reduced in size. Customers want the ability to have one company provide a total solution to their problem, whether that includes pumps, collection systems, sensing systems, uh, polishing filters, whatever. And, and that is becoming more and more an important part of what we do. We do have a lot of people who have been here a long time and actually you know when you think about it the the uh, uh, the patents are important the product is certainly very important of uh, all of the very uh, state-of-the-art technology we have here is is very important but in many ways the most important asset the company has are are the people uh, some of the people uh, have been here nearly as long as I. Uh, I think 
other than myself, the longest uh, is 36 or 37 years, but many people have been here more than 20 years. And, and for that matter, the average employee has been here 9.6 years. So we, we have long-term employees who do a high quality job. And for many of these people, this isn't a job. It, it's really more of a career and they take great pride in the work they do and they do great work.